Well, I made some more of these uh, cement batteries today and uh, I tried out different formulas with them and they're all working and uh, I don't know what to tell you John but uh, the best one is the one that uh, you specified with the white marble and the water glass and uh, I'm using Quickcrete which is a combination of Portland cement and sand and uh, I have two others here built with the beach sand. One was washed and one wasn't washed, and they both of them worked. And um, um, then one of them, I think it's that one over there, is just quickcrete. It's not even uh, anything else but just the concrete in an aluminum can with a wire. And it's running that uh, oscillator circuit right there. And uh, that's just one of the batteries. They're all putting about a volt and a quarter out when they're fresh, and they drop down to about 1.1, about one volt. And this is three of them here put together to make the LED work just off of uh, a straight voltage. So that's three of the uh, can batteries uh, cells put together to make the LED. And this is uh, one uh, running through an oscillator circuit. But then I made this little guy here out of a lid, and I'm calling this the lid battery. <laughs> this is my motors are called lid motors, and I call myself lid motor, so I made a lid battery. That's a plastic lid off a jar with um, concrete, and that's the quick creek concrete uh, with the uh, washed beach sand and alum. John, I put the alum in there. And then there's a copper wire, and then the pull tab off of one of these cans, and it's running a pulse motor. And I thought that was pretty darn cool. Now this drive unit right here is out of this lucky waving cat that this an oriental good luck charm. And I took the guts out of it. And uh, it's supposed to be a little pendulum thing. And I just took the guts out of it and it ran on a double A battery. And I hooked it up to this little lid battery thing here. And it's running. And it's also doing the back spike thing. And that is coming off of that coil, and the reed switch triggers that coil in a dead short and causes this flyback. And that's the latest thing that people are studying is getting this uh, pulse of energy not off of an induction, but off of the flyback on that coil. So that's something that uh, I've been very interested in. but. Uh, you can see this other one up here. This is the solar waving cat mechanism right there. That uh, it's just running off the light here in the room, and uh, it's pitch black outside, folks. It's it's night, and this is just the light in the room. And I tried to replicate that circuit and never could. And people have asked me about it, and I don't know what that circuit is, but it's kind of a running all the time kind of oscillator. And that little rotor starts up on its own as soon as light hits it. And I don't know how it operates. But uh, anyway, if somebody wants to fiddle around with that thing, that would be a great project to incorporate with this project over here somehow and uh, figure out how these uh, little pulse motors are, are working because they're very efficient. Because that's milli, milliwatts of power coming out of that thing, folks. And yet it's running that motor around there. Anyway, that's what I wanted to share with people tonight was my uh, latest uh, cement batteries. And John, all i got to say is they're all working, and none of them are dying. And I don't know how long these are going to run for, but uh, pretty neat. I think your uh, heating idea was interesting. I tried a hair dryer on one of them, and the voltage went right up. <laughs> so there's some kind of a thermal thing going on there, too. All right. Thanks for watching, folks.